look at each level of a Google Analytics account, starting with the account itself. An account is a collection of properties whose data is owned by a single business entity. Underneath accounts, a property represents a grouping of user data, like from a website or an app. It's also the level where Google Analytics processes data and where you can create links with other products, like Google Ads. Underneath each property is a data stream that represents the flow of data from a website or an app to the property, and the level where you can control things like what data gets collected. There are web data streams for websites and app data streams for mobile apps. If your business has both a website and a mobile app, you may have a data stream for the website, a second data stream for the iOS app, and a third data stream for the Android app. Note that in most cases, you should use a single web data stream to measure the web user journey. To ensure consistent user and session reporting for web journeys that span domains, use a single web data stream combined with cross-domain measurement. When creating your Google Analytics account, you should map the account and properties you set up back to your business structure. In general, it's a best practice to set up your account structure with one account per company and one property per brand or business unit. Let's look at a few examples and how they've structured their account. The first business is a fashion blog that has a single website. Their account structure would look something like this. One account, since data is owned by a single business entity, one property for the website, and one data stream. The next business is a gaming company that created a mobile racing game for both Android and iOS. Their account structure would look something like this. One account, one property for the app, and two app data streams, one for the Android version and one for the iOS version. The last business runs a food delivery service. The service has two user bases, customers and delivery drivers. So they've created two different apps, one for each user base. Their apps are on both iOS and Android. And they also have a website with two distinct sections, one for customers and one for their delivery drivers. Their account structure would look something like this, one analytics account with two properties, one focused on customers and the other focused on delivery drivers. The first property for customers would have three data streams, one web data stream for the website, one app data stream for the Android app, and one app data stream for the iOS app. The second property for delivery drivers would also have three data streams, one web data stream for the website, one app data stream for the Android app, and one app data stream for the iOS app. These are just a few examples of how you could structure your Google Analytics account for your business. Note that Analytics 360 is an enterprise level version of Google Analytics that provides additional flexibility for managing your data with things like sub properties and roll up properties.